What up, Bully World? So, I'm here for some help. I got two bullies, all right? One French bully, one American bully. Uh, two different breeds, two different bloodlines. So, he is ABKC registered. He is a Remy Line bloodline, all right? Uh, he's a great grandson to Pokemon. And he's AK AKC registered. So, this is King Chief, King Zeus. As you can see, they're both blues. They both got irritations on the skin, patchy. Uh, he's got some acne going on with his patches. But um, they both go to the vet routinely. Uh, right now, they're in their kennel air drying just because I did a dip on them. Uh, I have to do a bath. It's called a Mitoban dip. And this is the medication the vets have prescribed me. So I got to take half a bottle, put in a gallon of water. So I have to do two gallons each bath and pretty much use a whole bottle. But they are battling Demodex. Uh, they got skin scraped. They got uh, diagnosed with Demodex, which is a type of mange inherited through the parents. Uh, he's only six months old. He just started having this about a month ago. Uh, he is one year old and he's been battling this for about six months now. So he had it in the past, cleared up. His hair came back, looked good and pretty, but for some reason when it comes, it comes hard. So he started having patches around his neck, his chest, his legs especially. He gets irritated, always scratching, trying not to make him scratch, but he's a big boy. Um, my dogs are healthy, they do eat healthy. Um, I've tried changing their diets too, getting raw diet, but they, they seem to love the kibble a lot more. So they do get nutrients in there. Uh, I throw some fish oil, mega, uh, mega six, mega threes. Uh, some flaxseed oil. I do wipe him down with a little bit of coconut oil. Um, I've tried putting flaxseed oil in his dog food in the past and wiped him down with coconut oil and his hair came back nice and beautiful. But uh, now it's not seeming to be working. It's like his, his skin got used to it. But now I'm battling Demodex, hard as hell. And I'm trying to figure out how to get my blue, bu bu blue bullies all healthy again. Uh, I do currently own three more. Right now they're all sleeping. So they are in the kennels right now just because they just got through eating. They get very stingy when it comes to uh, eating. So one tends to eat more food than the other one. The other one just is scared to go near his bowls because they're gonna devour it. But these guys, this is uh, Prime. What's up, boy? Prime's uh, two times victorious. He's ABKC registered. Uh, he is a champion. Uh, Grass and Taurus. This is uh, the son, Konu. King Konu, uh, he just hit a one a year old. Uh, I'm actually getting ready to put him in the ABK, ABKC show coming up soon. Um, it's gonna be his first show ever. And this is my girl Sachi right here. What's up, girl? She is a white and I want to say Brenda with her, the blue. But all my dogs are pretty healthy. Uh, I do have them fan dried and keep them cool out here. We're in Guam, so it's hot and humid. And so, uh, as you can see, all three of them. Don't have skin issues they're all perfectly healthy nice looking coats very masculine uh she's just fat and healthy um but other than that as you can see my three different they're not blues so they don't got skin issues and as you can see she's in heat so uh she's already hit her i want to say 14th day so she's already made it once uh so now i gotta wait five weeks and see if uh what the results are but this is the main issue my uh, blue bullies so i'm trying to get some help on fighting demon decks and how to cure it up because uh i really do need to take them out in public some more and get them some shows and it does hurt to see uh your skin getting patchy and other people looking at them like damn don't bring my dog next to yours but it is not a, it's not contagious it's uh just inherited through the bloodline not bloodline but more of the parents so they get them at birth or something something like that but as you can see i'm battling it it gets irritated they're in the bath right now so they're air drying i'm not allowed to wipe them dry they got a drip dry or air dry so if anybody's got some uh look how thick he is though he's got a big old head thick body he's used over here he's a little freaking six inch tall bully but as you can see he only gets it in his face a little bit on his arms but the rest of his body's fine him it's around his neck his chest his legs uh some spots on his forehead but i do take care of my bullies i love them so those are bullies right here 
and I'm just trying to cure my dogs up. So as you can see, hey, Prime, lock it off. Hold him. Wake up, boy. So they just got the reading. We're all tired out. So if anybody's got some uh, answers, please help me out. Uh, they're not normally in these kennels that often because uh, right now I just don't need the other three licking off the chemicals that they have on each other right now. So it does make them loopy and drowsy. So they're going to be like that for a day or two. But if anybody's got some quick tips and tricks, I'm willing to take it and try it out. So I know there's a bunch of us out there battling this and not a whole lot of help on videos. So if anybody can help me out, I'll keep you guys updated, posted. Um, I'm going to start more of this uh, video vlogging just so I can help me, everybody out there who's going through the same issue. Um, but I know after doing my research more often, it's quite the blues that have this issue. Just because they have very sensitive skin. So if anybody out there has got some answers, please shoot me tips. Appreciate it. And uh, for Bill South Boots Kennels, uh, deuces.